All right, what's up, fellas? What we got? We got Dillian White and Edward Hearn, right? Edward Hearn, I believe it was yesterday, got on the mic. He got on the mic and basically was dancing. He danced all around the, the questions, didn't answer nothing. It was like 26 minutes, 16 or 26 minutes of no information. Edward Hearn was like, well, I'm not even supposed to be telling you this. Telling me what? Absolutely nothing. You didn't say nothing you said gave anybody any any kind of insight on what happened. On what happened. Obviously, something had to happen in order for the through the triple BOC for the triple BOC to say come here we want to talk to you we heard there's some tests or test that was uh, damn look at that car behind me look at that bad boy cold ain't it we heard there's a test and you popped on. So, how about you come on down here, holla at us, so we can get down to the bottom of this. And then we hear all this other stuff. You know, with, uh, what was it? Um, you know, they, them over there not not having not 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 uh since it's somebody says this is an ongoing investigation or waiting on the B sample or whatever that until the other samples the other sample or samples come out then they'll um make a further determination which is like bull crap and I don't want to hear no, it could have, it could have been contamination, it could have been this, it could have been that, because I put it to you like this, if you, if you call it contamination, right, why are you, you in the UK, why are you taking something that's sketchy, a supplement that's sketchy, to where you could get hit on some contamination bullshit, right? Okay, then not only that is contamination could be mean could mean that you had low traces amounts in your system. Low traces amounts in your system means that it could have been taken at X point of, at X point of time and now it's low. It's low. So don't come tell me about contamination traces amounts when all them two things tell me that it was in the system but at the time it was low so he could have took it a minute ago so don't try to tell me that bullshit like I said Eddie got on the mic he didn't answer no questions he didn't he didn't answer he didn't answer any questions like this was there a positive test result? He called it a discrepancy or something like that, an issue. Did Dillian White pop for a performance enhancing drug? I'm not at liberty to discuss, I, I don't wanna hear that shit. I'm not at liberty to discuss that stuff because I'm not a scientist, you know? I don't have degrees in that type of stuff. Blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. You've been around the sport for how long and you don't know nothing about PEDs, nigga? You said, you said uh, boxing in America is riddled with PEDs. We're the worst. But well, well, well. 
Look at what we got here. We got Dillian White. Mr. Sir Pops a lot. Mr. Sir Pops a lot. Look at him. Can't talk that shit now. Can't talk it now. What else we got? Um. Yeah. I just don't. I. I, I don't understand. Well, Dillian White's supposed to be putting out a statement today, or in the next couple of days. But, you know, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Because obviously, you don't have to say anything. You don't. You don't have to say that you popped on PEDs. Because Edward Hearn already told us that in that interview. He already told us that is is none of their is none of your fucking business. He was cleared since he was cleared is none of your fucking business. That is what Edwin Hearn said. Am I right? I mean, he didn't he didn't cuss or anything like that. But let's just keep it. Let's just keep it real. It ain't none of our fucking business. That's exactly what I got out of it, man. Dylan White's gonna get up on the mic. He ain't gonna say shit. Because he ain't gotta say shit. And if he do, that's good. That's that's fucking good. And then Edward Hurt tell me, oh, there's legal. There's gonna be some legal things and this and the third. How the fuck you going how the fuck are you gonna go after somebody legally when everybody that's that's talking about it was saying alleged? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna sue boxing scene? For putting out information that wasn't that wasn't even leaked by them. It wasn't even leaked by boxing scene. Somebody gave it to him. So what are you going to do? You're going to sue. <clears throat> Go ahead and sue him. Go ahead and sue. Um, Go ahead and sue people. Uh, because what's going to happen is, is that you are going to have to answer the big question. Did he pop? You don't have to answer the big question. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, you can say whatever you want to. You can try to sugarcoat it and all that stuff. But you're gonna have to answer the question if um, if if he popped, if indeed he popped for uh, performance enhancing uh, stuff. You know, cause you can't you can't call you can't call you can't call for a slander libel and all that shit, whatever the the lawful terms for those is, if the motherfucker did indeed pop. You can't. If he did and you can't go and say Deontay Wilder knows all about that because the Deontay Wilder case was a little bit different. Because Alexander Vivekin did come out come out to be a drug cheat because after Alexander Pavekin accused Deontay Wilder of um of uh calling him a drug cheat and all that stuff what happened with Alexander Povetkin he actually popped again and then not only that is he actually did pop uh for that substance uh that was in the system uh so yeah shout out to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free